a kneaded eraser doesn't produce eraser dust. You can knead it in your hands to clean it and you can mold it into any shape you need to. But can you make a kneaded eraser yourself from a normal eraser? I tried it with these two erasers. I washed them with soap and water first to get rid of any other dirt besides the graphite that's on them. The way this is supposed to work is that you wrap the eraser on paper or on some other surface to create eraser dust or eraser crumbs and then you knead them in your hand and they're supposed to form a putty that you can mold. Right away I can see a couple of problems with this. It takes very long to wrap the eraser to get a big enough pile of the crumbs to form a usable size kneaded eraser. My hands started cramping, I had to keep changing hands. The second problem is that these eraser crumbs will not knead together. They stay separate no matter how long I try kneading them. I even tried warming and softening them up in the microwave. This is after the first 25 seconds, this is after the second 25 seconds. They got warm, but they're not any more kneadable than they were before. I can get the crumbs smaller by kneading them with my fingers, so they start resembling quicksand or kinetic sand, but the crumbs don't actually stick together to form a body. Another tip I found from Rabbit Fire Art was to add adhesive to the eraser. I tried placing the existing crumbs on the sticky part of a post-it note and on masking tape. That did nothing. Then I realized the tip actually said to wrap the eraser onto adhesive, so I did that. It does make it a bit more moldable, but the adhesive runs out fast and you'd have to use up the whole stack of post-it notes or a whole roll of tape to make a big enough body to use as an eraser. I tried adding these pieces in with the other crumbs to form a bigger eraser, but it just kept crumbling because there wasn't enough adhesive. I also tried a few other erasers I found. The one on the end of a pencil didn't work at all. The one on the end of a mechanical pencil wasn't any better than the first two tries. And neither was this translucent eraser. The whole thing, rubbing and kneading, took like two hours and I really had nothing usable to show for it at this point. I did make a little DIY kneaded eraser the next day, so we can test it against the store-bought kneaded eraser. And this is how they performed against each other. So yes, the DIY kneaded eraser does work, but it started crumbling while I was using it. So not the most practical thing. Now, if you have a regular eraser that's kneadable enough without adding any adhesive, then this is probably a great hack for you. But if your erasers are like mine, it's really going to be a pain. Have you tried this and did it work for you? Now how about if you tried using something you already have as a kneaded eraser? I tested how this works compared to a store-bought kneaded eraser in this video here. See you there! Looks like I've carved some names on here as a school kid. How many 90s or early 2000s boy bands can you recognize by these names?